Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Elle. I'm an ethical fashion YouTuber slash vlogger and my goal is to educate and empower people like you to learn about the fashion industry and all its issues and to empower you to take action. And in today's video, I'll be talking about anti-hauls, specifically for August. And if you haven't heard what anti-hauls are, basically it's just explaining the things that I don't want to shop for during August and the things that I don't really want to invest my time or energy into. And so the purpose of this video is to share what I do not want to consume in the month of August. And I really just want to play with like that haul culture that we see so often on YouTube and TikTok that just promotes overconsumption. And I also hope this video inspires you to think about a couple of things that you should probably not buy and to think more about your needs versus your desires so you can reduce over consumption, you can reduce overspending, and you can also avoid excessive waste on our precious earth. So the following things are a couple things that I want to anti-haul in August. So the first one is less time on TikTok. I find myself spending so much time on that app, it's not even funny. I just like scroll endlessly <laughs> on the app when I could be instead reading a book or I can be learning French because I really wanna learn French. It's unfortunate how this app just like allows me to turn off my head and to relax. And I've just like conditioned myself to turn on the app during the night and I'm on it for like hours. I think spending less time on TikTok can actually allow me to be more rested during the night. I'll have less things in my head and it'll also allow me to tune into my interests like reading and learning French and just sleeping better at night because all that media um, I don't really think is good for you but here I am like consistently on the app. So the second thing that I want to anti-haul for August is buying new and used books. I have the tendency of buying a lot and a lot of books even though I already have so many. I my room is really full of books. It's not even it's not even like realistic that I'll read them within the year like I have over 50 and they just end up sitting there and I just think it's such a waste to like buy books and not read them and it's also like creating pressure for me to read 500 books within one day and that's not realistic so actually like stresses me out to have all these books but I love buying books and I love books so it's kind of like a love-hate relationship right now and they just like keep stacking up because I'm not being realistic about if I can read them or not and I'm always here saying like oh I'll read them one day but it doesn't actually happen so I think not buying any new and used books will allow me to focus in on what I already own and just get through the stacks and once I'm done reading the books I can buy new ones so it'll take me a while and it'll help me save money as well so that's that's that, that's the process right now okay the third thing I want to anti-haul is new summer clothing I feel like a lot of brands within August are thinking about how to get rid of all their summer clothing before fall comes in and so they usually discount it and promote it as like this huge deal for consumers and I've fallen into that trap like I've bought in summer clothing in August knowing that summer is going to end literally within the next month so I don't want to buy new summer stuff like there is no need like summer is ending by that point and I can always use I already have in my closet just rewash it or like make it into a new outfit by pairing things together also because I'm not going to be spending money on new summer clothing in August it allows me to save my money and invest it into like really cool sustainable fall pieces that I know will last for a long while so I think um that's what I'm gonna do instead of buying like cheap summer clothing that I'm not gonna really wear for a long time. The fourth thing I want to anti-haul during August is regrets. I know that's not a material thing and I know you're kind of like, how do you anti-haul regrets? But basically, anti-hauls can include emotional attachments. I hope to like not invest time or energy into like low energies, if that makes sense. And I'll also be in Chicago during August and I really don't want to focus on like capitalistic expectations or having a certain job while I'm on vacation there. 
And so I also don't want to re regret like where I'm at during that month and I don't want to regret like the decisions I've made in August. Like I just really want to be a healthy, happy person during August. That means investing your time and energy into certain things. Sometimes we underestimate how much shopping has to do with like emotional attachments and how we're like really doing in life. Spending less time on shopping to invest in like creating cool memories. I, I I feel like will be the answer to me not wanting to live in this like realm of regrets and like low energy so it's all super interconnected and then the fifth thing that i want to anti-haul is fast food i have found myself eating a lot of fast food especially because the kitchen is always occupied where i live and i never want to bother anyone i never want to be like hey i want to like heat up my beans while they're having like this whole meal so <laughs> i just yeah, I don't want to bother anyone and the kitchen's small so I've just gone to fast food restaurants as the alternative but it's really bad for my bank account, it's really bad for my health and it's not really contributing to what I want in the world like fast food and those monopolies are like not creating a good change <laughs> to the world, it's just very bad um, impact overall. So yeah, I have to reconsider how to invest my money as well to contribute and support businesses that I believe in. And fast food definitely is not that. And then the last thing I want to anti-haul is meditation procrastination. That did rhyme, but <laughs> what I have found myself doing within these past months without me realizing is just pushing back time to be mindful and intentional and within the ethical fashion journey, it's really important to like know who you are and to reflect and to think deeply and sometimes that requires being grounded in some sort of like intentional mindful or like spiritual practice and i have neglected that i feel like not meditating has affected my ethical fashion practices slash journey and so i hope to spend more time during the nights just listening to like really cool like meditation music listening to like spiritual podcasts reading books about like what the meaning of life is and that requires me not procrastinating it requires me to stop watching tiktok for hours and mindless youtube videos it requires me stopping myself from scrolling on instagram which is what i do a lot to then redirect my attention to like mindful things and that just requires me to like actually do it and I usually procrastinate on that, um, which is really bad, so I have to stop doing that. So yeah, that's kind of like the top, what was it, six things that I want to anti-haul for August. And I'm filming this within the last week of July. It's just going to give me some time to like really be intentional about the things that I want in August. But you'll be watching this in August, so hopefully you get some ideas on what you want to anti-haul this month and what you want to invest your time and energy into because we underestimate what <laughs> we do and what its impact is. Like shopping is not just shopping. It takes time and energy and if you don't shop like what else can you do with that time so just kind of consider that and what you think would create a better like healthy life for you and what would bring you joy stuff like that let me know yeah what you want to anti-haul in the comments and feel free to subscribe and to follow me on social media i make videos on ethical fashion every week so feel free to put your notifications on for that and let me know what content you want to see from me i'm super open to film different things and to just kind of adapt this channel around the topics you want to learn from let me know i am excited to keep this channel growing i wish you all the best and i'll see you in the next video bye guys